These two big men going in there for the Eagles, Adam Tip and Woody. That's the direction they'll want to go. They go to him now and he kicked it off the ground. Well, got an airy, got it upfield. But well, Dean, thanks for joining us. Adam Tipper Woody has won the Round 10 NT News Rising Star Award this week. Can you tell us a bit about him? Yeah, look, Adam's come across this year. He came across, I think it was Round 3. So he missed the first two games of the year. And, um, you know, we got him across from the Tiwi Bombers and we're quite fortunate he's... He's quite a special player and uh, obviously a big loss to the Tiwis. Um, but for us, he's, you know, he's, he's spent a lot of time down south and, and playing football down there. He, he's very young, so he's been a, a very good pickup for us where he's, he's very quick and he's not only quick with his feet and his speed on the ground, but also um, he's, he's thinking that in the football field, he's, he's got a very uh, a quick brain and, and a good knack for making decisions under pressure. So he's been a, a massive pickup for us. Trouble short kick out towards the wing, bouncing ball there in the path of Adam Tip and Woody. Well, he's instrumental in setting up some goals on the weekend. Do you see him predominantly playing in the forward line this year? Yeah, I think when we got him across from the Tiwi Bombers, he was a halfback flanker midfielder. Um, so for us to play him up forward is, um, you know, he just has that speed um, in the forward line, and his defensive pressure is is unreal. Really, he, his closing speed's fantastic. So. He, uh, he makes the opposition very nervous, I guess, when they know that he's in their area. So, look, for us, we like him on the half-forward flank, rotating um, in the midfield as well. But we know that if we need any help down back, especially this week against St Mary's, where they've got a lot of speedy small forwards, if we need to use him down back, we know he's very capable because I think that's where he played his best football when he, um, he played with the Tiwi Bombers. So, you know, we, we know we've got that up our sleeves as well. Good work done there by Josh Wilson. Got the tap down on the way down. Got it out through Adam Tip and Woody. Who do you think he'll man up on this weekend again in the big game against St Mary's? Oh look, I think um, you know he will play up forward for us. So um, you know Carl Load. Um, you know whether they'll have to throw a, a Ben Rioli back on him as well. We're not too sure how they'll go. Uh, Mikey Coombs no doubt will come back into the lineup. So he's got some pace and some toughness. So. Um, you know, we, we know that they've got a very experienced back line that sort of work well as a team, so it really isn't a, a, an individual performance that they'll try and stop him. Um, they, they work very well as a, a team defence, so um, at this stage I'd probably pencil in Carl Lode, but, um, you know, he may have some trouble keeping up with him, but he'll have help from the others which, which might benefit them. Well, thanks for joining us today to talk about Adam, and good luck to the Wanderers against St Mary's this weekend. All right, thanks, Liz. Of the Tiwi Bombers, they've got to hurry up down there, two on one, well done, over the top, Adam Tippenwoody runs onto the football, the former Bomber, kicks on goal and nails it. Great goal by uh, Adam Tippenwoody there, wouldn't Tiwi love to have him running around out there with the Tiwi jumper, but he's...